everybody, welcome back. Today is the first day of Vlogmas. I am thrilled. I love Vlogmas. I love watching Vlogmas videos. Everything about it is so exciting to me, except for editing these videos. It takes a long time, okay? Long time. But we are kicking off Vlogmas with my empties video, my empties for November. Here's the thing, I have my basket. I feel like it's like this month. I don't know. I have so many things that I am so close to finishing up. And I need like one to three more uses in like six different things, but here we are. We're doing this today. All right. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on everything. If I would repurchase it or not is the primary aspect here because I buy so much. I try so much repurchasing things. <laughs> Okay. Um, I will also have everything linked down below. If you are interested, they are affiliate links, which means that if you use them to shop, um, I most of the time will get a small commission. They're not all affiliate links, but most of them are. So that doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me out. Thank you so much for your support. Let's jump into this because I was going to say we're going to be here for a while, but I don't think that we are. First off, we have the Hask Charcoal with Citrus Purifying Dry Shampoo. I'm not going in any particular order here. I'm just grabbing it off the top. I don't like this. It left a white cast, a really bad white cast. And I brushed it out as much as I could, um, but it just didn't work the greatest. Charcoal products and I, there are a couple that I like. There are a couple that I don't like. This one was not one of the ones that I enjoyed. Um, this is a Best of Beauty Allure 2017 winner. Have I had it that long? No. Um, not a big fan. Also, the scent of it... I did not enjoy the scent of this at all. I wouldn't repurchase this one. It's just, it's 6.5 ounces. It's huge. So if you don't like it, it's a pain in the ass to go through. But I used it all up and I'm very proud of myself for doing so. I just wouldn't repurchase it. It wasn't for me. There are many other dry shampoos that I like a lot more than I like that one. Okay. I used up the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath um, with Pure Epsom Salt. This is the Relax and Relief with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Okay. I loved this. This was so good. These are normally the bubble baths that I use. Um, my only issue, and I mentioned this the last time I used a bubble bath. Oh, it smells so good. It's such a relaxing, like, it almost feels like it should be energizing, but it's just relaxing. You know what I mean? So it's great. Um, but I feel like, I mentioned this the last time that I had used a bubble bath. It takes so much to get good bubbles. So this is like four baths to get like a decent amount of bubbles. And that just drives me crazy because I feel like it's so much. I would repurchase it because this is the best, most affordable brand that I have personally found that I enjoy. So I would repurchase it. I have more of these, not in this scent, in different scents because I was trying out different scents, but I think this is one of my favorite scents actually because I really enjoyed this. And I like went back to this instead of using the other ones that I had opened. I really did like that. I would repurchase it. I just wish it didn't take as much to make bubbles. I used up my Macadamia Natural Oil Smoothing Conditioner. So this one, when I bought it, the cap was broken. I bought it at like TJ Maxx for $14.99. This is the one that I was talking about where I had used those things from Amazon. I had mentioned them in, in last month's favorite video um, that like screw on and then you flip the product over and it comes out of like the new opening. I'm, that's a ter I'm t explaining it terribly. I'll leave a link to them down below, but they are life-changing and I raved about them in my last series video. This is what I used it with. And you guys, there is not a drop of conditioner left in here. That shit works so good. Um, as far as this conditioner goes, I did like it. I don't, so it says it's daily conditioning rinse for frizz free hair. I would believe that. I would because I feel like my hair was less frizzy. It didn't get rid of like all of my frizz, but my hair was less frizzy when I was using this. And now that I'm not using it, the frizz is kind of coming back. So I would go with, yeah, it works. And I liked this. I really did. This is a really nice one. I love the Macadamia brand. The hair mask is amazing. But it's a really expensive brand. I'd repurchase this though. Especially if I can get it for $14.99 for a huge liter like this. I'd get that. Especially now that I don't have to waste any because of how it comes out. Next is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench and Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie for thick curly hair. I love the scent of this. If you like coconut, it's just like straight up coconut oil is what it smells like. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So this was really good. You use this on damp hair as like a style aid. I think it worked really well. As far as repurchasing goes, I feel like I just don't use enough of this type of product to really justify it. Um, there's more styling aids that I kind of prefer because I normally like, 
like the volumizing styling aids and not necessarily the curl ones. Although I do have some curl ones that I like. I don't know if I'd repurchase this or not. I'd have to think on that for a little bit longer. It was a good product if you like styling aids for curling. I do recommend it and I like it because you can use this on damp or dry hair. What does it say? Section hair and apply products sparingly to damp or dry hair. Do not rinse out. Style hair as desired. For best results, use a styling cream for twist outs, braids, and wash and go styles. I have a wash and go style for the most part. Um, so when I do like the wash and go thing, that's what I would be using. It works pretty well. I just don't know if I'm like super obsessed with it to where I want like a ginormous tub of it again. I'm torn on that one. Oh, here's another tub. This, oh. This is a Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep Shea Sugar Body Scrub. First of all, this smells heavenly. This is chamomile and bergamot. It smells so good. This smells so good. And I loved the, I don't even know how to describe it, like the scrub versus the, what does it say? Made with sugar crystals and shea butter. Okay. The sugar crystals were awesome because they, it was like just the right amount, right? Like it felt almost like, okay, it was the right amount for like a body polish. It was like in between a scrub and a body polish. Very hard to like kind of put my finger on, but it was kind of like in between what I would expect both of those to be. And then it's the shea butter base. This was a moisturizing scrub, and I had, have not tried very many moisturizing scrubs, but I almost felt like I didn't need a lotion after this. Like, I almost felt like this was, it kind of like melted into an oil that like dissolved into your skin, like one of those, um, like the shower lotions mixed with a scrub slash polish. It was insane, and I used this with that Bath & Body Works um, silicone scrubber. This is my favorite. Yes, I, I will be repurchasing this ASAP. Bath & Body Works is continuing shit all the time. Is this still is this still a thing that they have? I'm going to find out because this is seriously, I think, one of my favorite body scrubs I've ever used. I was distraught when I ran out. I also used up another Ulta Normal Skin Cleansing Balm. I have a lot of these. I have a ridiculous amount of these. Um, I do plan on using up the ones that I have. As for repurchasing, I don't even think they make this anymore. Um, I don't think I'd repurchase it, though. It doesn't get everything off at all. It's, it feels nice on the skin, but it does not get everything off. And so I end up having to go back over with like a bunch of other remover and then cleanser and it just, it doesn't get everything off. I wouldn't repurchase these, but I do plan on using the ones that I still have, which are a lot, just to use them up because I have them in their cleansing balms and they get some, some stuff off. It's much better for your face than it is for like your eye makeup, but I don't know. I wouldn't repurchase it. The Bath & Body Works Pink Cashmere Shower Gel. So the key notes in this is pink jasmine petals, creamy sandalwood, white amber, cashmere musk. My husband and I used this, like, together. Um, it's not my favorite scent. I don't even know why, honestly. It smells nice. It's very, like, floral and bright and happy, right? But I don't think I'd repurchase this scent. It's just not, it's a little too florally. Does that make sense? A little too florally. Um, I used up another one of these Flamingo. This is the Pomelo and Silver Razor Blade. It comes with a handle, two cartridges, and then a shower holder. I never use these shower holders, so I just donate those. Um, so this is the razor that I normally use, and I'm trying to like use up. I, I bought a bunch of these little like packs on clearance at Fry's for four bucks, and so I'm just kind of trying to use them up now. I love these though. I buy these razors normally, well I buy the refills from Target because Target sells them. And these are my favorite razors. They're the best that I personally have found. I think that they're really a good price point. This is the razor that I use. This is a razor that I will continue to use 100%. I wouldn't necessarily repurchase like this kit. I only got it because it was a good deal. Um, but yes, these razors are fabulous. I love them. I actually used up some makeup this time, um, which we'll get to in just a second. I finished off an Earth Harbor. Celestine Hydro Plumping Peptide Serum. Okay, I liked this. I actually really did. I don't really notice like much of a scent to it, but it felt so nice on the skin. It was literally like one of those um, very watery, but super hydrating serums. I can't really speak for the plumping aspect, but the serum itself made my skin feel so nice, so hydrated, just, and that's literally, I mean, honestly, that's pretty much all it did, but the hydration was so great. This is, 
this is what I want in a serum. If it doesn't have any like AHA or BHAs in it, this is what I want. I loved this one. Yes, 100%. I would definitely repurchase it. Oh, this is the Kroger Care Clarify Skin Bright Daily Face Scrub. Listen, so this is comparable to the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Scrub. These are so old. They're so old. And I don't know if it's because they're so old that they suck or if that's just the product. I'll be completely honest with you. If it were up to me, I would toss them out, but my husband likes these and he wants to continue using them. I will not repurchase these. Um, I still have a couple left that he's primarily using. I don't like this. It feels like nothing. It doesn't feel like a scrub. It doesn't do anything for my skin. My husband loves them though, which is interesting because he normally likes like the powder exfoliants, but he really likes these. So he's finishing them off. I don't like this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it again. I finished off masks. Hello. Um, a couple of these are from the Project Pan that I'm doing on Instagram. If you're not familiar, I'm doing a Project Pan where I try to use up my sheet masks. Um, so far in that Project Pan, I have used up two, which I will talk more in depth about on Instagram, but I used up the Ulta Beauty Hydrating Coconut and then the Mashka Dear Avocado. This was a cream mask. Oh, it was so good. I actually really liked both of these though. And my skin has been so freaking dry lately. I also used up the Meg Two Step Jelly Mask. This is okay. It slid down my face like a lot. Was not the greatest. Um, probably, you know, I wouldn't repurchase it. I used up the Found Brightening Coconut Sheet Mask. Sheet masks I'm not going to repurchase. So, but this one was really nice. I really enjoyed that one. And then the Vitamasks the Vitamin C Cherry Brighten was also a really nice one. I liked it. I only have one more product left. And then we're going to talk about makeup. I have one more non-makeup product left. Um, oh, the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This took me forever to use up. I've been using this for so long, but you guys, I love this. It's cooling on your under eyes. It makes them appear a little bit brighter. It does. I use this in the mornings when I was getting ready before I would put on my makeup and it made my under eyes look so good. It made them so like rehydrated and it definitely helped cut down on like any cakiness for makeup because it was so hydrated and like cooled down and everything and it was glorious. I freaking love this. Yes, I would repurchase it. I actually have a different eye balm thing from Tula. It's not this one. I think it's like orange packaging that I have to try, but this was phenomenal. Highly, highly recommend. This was also, I think, in my favorites last month because it's so good. And then makeup products. I used up five things. I used up two foundations. Um, they're foundation sticks. This is a Tarte Clay Stick in Light Medium Neutral. I had pulled this and actually this one also into my little apocalypse project pan after I did my declutters. You guys will see that later. I did use it up though. Um, this was nice. This shade was far too yellow for my skin tone. It did not look the greatest, but I like the foundation stick. So I definitely want to repurchase this in the future um, just in a different shade because this was just, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it was far too yellow for my skin tone. I loved the foundation though. I also used up another, this is my second one this year, of the Fenty Matchsticks Linen. This is very, it's like, because you can use it as different things. You can use it as like a concealer or a brightener. If you have a darker shade, you can use it as a contour stick. You can use it as a highlight. I used it as a foundation stick. I don't really recommend doing that. Like it was okay, but you have to like that type of foundation. If you like very minimal, very like light coverage foundation that you can build up a little bit to get to medium, this is nice. I love these in like the cream contour form. I don't necessarily think I'd want to get it in like a foundation stick again though. And again, like, like I said, you can use it for other things. I just didn't. So if I get this again in the future, I wouldn't use it as a foundation stick again because it just doesn't give like the coverage that I want. And I feel like I have to build it up so much to get any type of coverage. It just becomes not worth it to me. I used up the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner in Dirty Talk. This is a gold shade. Um, I, I like this line. I like this collection. I don't really know how I feel about this gold though. It was almost a little too pale for me. It didn't show up the greatest. I probably would not repurchase like this shade in particular, but I, I have so many of these eyeliners. A good eyeliner. Um, I finished off the It Cosmetics Brow Power Micro in Universal Taupe. I love this. And I just talked about in my Shop My Stash the It Cosmetics 
brow power and how it was too thick and everything this is the key to fix that this is so nice because it gives you a nice precise line which I love the shade is not my perfect match but I can deal with it as long as I have that precise line so if I had to pick between the two I would pick this one versus the original brow power they're both like a tad bit light for me but that one is definitely much easier to work with and then finally the last empty my god this went quick today this is the milk kush lip scrub no I ended up digging out as much as I could out of there. Here's the thing. I do lip scrubs in the shower or like when I'm doing my skincare. And so it's easier to do like a pot, like a potted lip scrub. And I don't like stick lip scrubs because you have to press down so hard to get like the scrubby factor that it ends up like smushing all over and it just becomes a pain in the ass to work with. And I don't like it. I would not repurchase this solely because of the packaging. If it was in a potted product, the consistency would be very different. So I don't know at that point. Like, I'd probably try it out. But this is not my jam. I don't like it. So honestly, that is all of my empties for November. Like I said, it was a very slow month. Although there was a lot going on. I was very busy. I was not really focused on using up empties. Um, I do have a couple of new project pans that are coming up, though, that I'm really excited about. So those will be happening very soon actually and then I currently have like a couple of like mini project pans going on but I'm doing one of the fantastic ladies collabs um in 2022 it starts in January I think I need to double check but that's coming and it's actually really cool because it's all based off like punk music pumped about that um so yeah those are my empties Welcome to Vlogmas. We're getting started here with a nice, like, short kind of intro video. So make sure you are subscribed if you'd like to see a Vlogmas this year. I have lots of really fun hauls, project pans, and good Christmas content coming your way this month. I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.